name is Katie Bray. I own Financial Vision Bookkeeping. I also have a professional life and business um, coaching service. So I have been in finances for over 12 years now, and I am so passionate about serving entrepreneurs and helping them overcome their own fears and barriers in order to live the life of their dreams. And um, financial sustainability is something I have always been passionate about, passionate about exploring um, and have loved sharing and talking about in this summit the last four years. Um, so I've had a lot of time to explore this topic and what I'm going to share with you today is really rooted in the idea that having financial sustainability really comes down to having a clear vision and defining your success. Uh, what does success look like to you? And when I realized this, it, it kind of opened up a whole new world for me and for my clients. And it really helped us get really hyper-focused about what matters. Um, and if you're not clear about what your vision is, then that's okay. Uh, five years ago, I didn't know what my vision was. I didn't have a vision. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, what kind of money I wanted to make. I didn't know how many hours I wanted to work. I didn't know how much energy I had. Um, I had come from a corporate-centered uh, uh, work life, and I wasn't really clear what it looked like as an entrepreneur. So if you don't have a vision, that's okay. Um, I'm going to give you some resources today that are really going to help define that. Um, and I have a couple examples that I want to offer you to help put this more into um, practice. So these examples are about two businesses that do the same thing. So they have the same service. So I really looked at them and benchmarked them based on their vision for success because I feel like it really applies in this example. So client A got really clear about what they were looking to create in terms of their culture, their values, their numbers, um, their money, the hours worked in their company. Um, they really wanted to get clear about what it is they were going to create in the next year. Um, this was about six, six to nine months ago. So we sat down and they grilled me on all the numbers they had. What do they mean? How do they understand them? They really wanted to, to get to the bottom of all this. And once we were able to kind of give them the, the foundational understanding of how to read their numbers, profit and loss, balance sheet, um, they took that information and they really plugged it into their quarterly goals, their monthly goals. They built their team around what they wanted to create and why they wanted to create it. Um, and they went from making $75,000 in revenue monthly to $150,000 in revenue monthly. And this year alone, they've already hit a million dollars. And you know, don't let those numbers mean anything. Um, if those sound really big and scary, um, it could be the same for if they were making 2000 to 4000 It would still, still be really meaningful. Um, so what I want to share is about the second client. Um, they've, been in their, they've been in the dark with their numbers for years. When they came to me, they um, had an outside firm running their numbers. They didn't, they didn't even know how to view their numbers. They weren't getting financials regularly. Um, and so what they did was they when they hired Financial Vision to start working with them, they came ready um, to get a hold of their finances and really get a clear understanding of what they were looking at. Um, and when they asked how I could help them, I said, first you need to tell me your vision and we can work on moving you towards that vision. So I asked them, what were their goals? What, um, how did they define success? both personally and professionally? How did they support their team? Um, what kind of culture were they invested in um, creating? And they looked at me and were, were, oh, were stunned. They didn't have an answer. They didn't have um, any real idea. They hadn't worked this out. And that was okay too. Um, there's no judgments around this. It's just an example of, 
what happens when you don't have a clear North Star? Um, so what, so when I, when we look at their numbers, I'm not surprised almost that they're not what they want them to be. They want to make a million dollars in a year and they haven't yet. And that's, and that's just because they're not clear on it and that's okay. So that's what we're working on creating. And I believe that with some clarity and some, a little bit of digging there and uncovering, they'll get there. Um, so what I wanna offer you today for this prompt is when you, when you think of success or when you're, when you're at the end of the day, how will you know that you've been successful in life and in work? So for this prompt, really think about that. Take some time to journal about it. Take some time to consider what, how will you really feel successful and fulfilled? Um, so yeah, I'm Katie Bray and I'm from Financial Vision Bookkeeping. Thank you so much.